Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Bacchanow.com here at the Sony event at CES checking out the Sony Xperia Z. Brandon Miniman just gave us an awesome hands-on, but now we're going to compare it to Samsung Galaxy S3. Let's get to it. So just uh, from a spec perspective, over here on the uh, the new Xperia, we're looking at a 5-inch HD display at 1080p versus a 4.8-inch Super AMOLED at 720p. Now, in person here, you can see that a lot of these devices have screen protection zones, so we can't really tell you, give you uh, meaningful impressions on, uh, on black levels or colored, but this is a very, very sharp display over here, as you might expect. Beneath the hood, we're powered by a Qualcomm S4 Pro, backed up by 2 gigs of RAM, and that's running at 1.5 gigahertz, and our AT&T. Galaxy S3 here is standing in for an international one, which is of course powered by the Exynos quad core at the same speed. For a camera, 13 megapixel camera with Exmor RS and HDR videos. Now, Sony is uh, really, really calling that out as a definitive feature. Galaxy S3 packs an 8 megapixel camera, uh, which has none of that. No HDR video. Uh, really excellent camera on the S3, but being etched out spec wise, we'll have to see how they perform. On the front, a 2 megapixel front facing camera on the new Xperia with 1080p capture versus a 1.9 megapixel camera, almost the same, but 720p on the Galaxy S3. Powering all that, a 2400 milliamp hour battery with something called stamina. Sony has software customizations that not only allow you to save power by shutting down the data connection, but also lets you keep on certain elements like your uh, corporate email, say, or your uh, Instagram, or whatever you want to run data. The Galaxy S3 has power saving features, but they are not as specific at this first glance. As far as the physical build goes, we're looking at a less than a millimeter difference in thickness with 7.9 millimeters on the new Exynos versus 8.6 millimeters on the Galaxy S3. Sony is calling this precision engineered. You can see here we've got straight lines and right angles with tempered glass on the front and back versus the Galaxy S3's familiar uh, plastic finish that we have uh, found to be a little bit light for our tastes, or some of us have at least. Also, the Xperia Z is rocking a water-resistant and dust-resistant build, uh, resistant uh, and built to IP standard 55 and 57, not so on the more fragile Galaxy S3. A lot of improvements here, and finally we have the uh, we have some NFC-based customizations built into the new Xperia Z that allow you to share media between Xperia devices, between Xperia devices and televisions and stereos, etc. And on Samsung, of course, we have a lot of NFC-based features as well. So uh, we'll call that one a draw until we can learn a little bit more about it. And just to give you a little idea of an app launch comparison here, because some folks are into that, and we know that. One, two, three on Google Maps. And uh, not going to get a fix inside here, and we might be running off a uh, cached version of Google Maps there. So There's also no network support on one of these devices. At any rate, that is a quick look at the comparison. Obviously, we're going to have a more detailed comparison when we get more access to the device. So this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the Sony Xperia Z, brand new here from CES in Las Vegas. It's pocket now.